Welcome back. An Arkansas-based grocery chain getting bigger, entering new territory and adding hundreds of workers. Harps Foods of Springdale announcing this week the latest in a string of post-COVID acquisitions. Arkansas business editor Lance Turner talked with the company president today. Lance joining us with details on this. Lance, thanks for joining us. All right, who is Harps buying? Harps is actually buying uh, The Markets, which is a small family-owned grocery chain, with seven stores and 350 employees in Louisiana and Missouri, or Mississippi, rather. Uh, it's a 53-year-old company whose founder, Harley Loy, was actually raised on a farm here in Arkansas. He died in 2019, but his sons have been running the business uh, until now when they have decided to sell to Harps. The deal will put Harps into uh, Louisiana and Mississippi for the first time. It already has stores, uh, of course, in Arkansas, Oklahoma. Oklahoma, Missouri, and Kansas, uh, and the companies, of course, being private companies, did not disclose the acquisition price. Yeah, pretty far-reaching. All right, this isn't the only acquisition that Harps has actually closed in the last couple of years. How has the company been able to keep growing amid this, this pandemic? Well, I talked to Harps president J. Max Van uh, Hoos, who told me that Harps uh, netted about 50 new stores since uh, the pandemic year of 2020 through roughly four major acquisitions. Some of those deals began before COVID, uh, but in other cases, Harps was able to talk to family owners uh, who simply were ready to get out of the business and perhaps didn't have heirs or other family members who were interested in running the business. There have been other cases, though, where Harps have bought uh, single stores in small towns. Think about England, Arkansas, where the Kroger there left town uh, and Harps was able to swoop in and buy that uh, that store there to, to save a food desert, really. Uh, so Harps has been able to grow in those cases as well along the way. So how has Harps been able to do this and how well have they performed in the pandemic years? Well, Van Hoos tells me that really grocery stores all over have actually done pretty well in the pandemic years. And you think about more people eating home, not going out, uh, and that's been a boost to the grocery industry as a whole. That's been reflected in Harps' revenue. They, they uh, reported $1.2 billion in sales in fiscal 2021, up 16% from the previous year. Uh, they're going to do $1.4 billion in sales in fiscal 2022. You know, Harps is a healthy sort of mid-sized grocer, 100% employee owned, that knows how to operate in those smaller markets where the giants like Walmart and Kroger maybe aren't as comfortable operating. Uh, and Van Hoos tells me that they're still on the lookout for more growth and more acquisitions today. Wow. All right, Lance, thanks for joining us. Lance Turner with Arkansas Business. You can read the full story and a whole lot more over on ArkansasBusiness.com.